Youth sports. They wield the power to wound and to heal, inspire and degrade hardworking students. Wanting to know how athletic clubs use their abundant financial resources or how young athletes nourish their bodies, Cronkite News reporters took a closer look at youth sports in Arizona to uncover the issues and progress encompassing the vast industry. We wanted to figure out um, childhood nutrition and youth sports. How do the two intersect? How do young athletes take care of their bodies? I was looking into whether sports training for youth athletes was beneficial. Was it worth it? The pricing for youth sports trainers was, it was a little expensive, so I wanted to ask parents and trainers themselves and even an athlete if they thought it was worth it. I wanted to focus on club sports and youth tournaments, how expensive they are, how it helps them get to the next level, getting in front of college recruiters. What our group is looking into is bullying and hazing. We started out as wondering whether schools are, uh, are doing enough to kind of combat that issue. So the biggest question was really looking into overuse injuries and in sports and kind of looking into the causes amongst youth athletes. Um, and whether one sport specialization at a certain age was kind of a key role in that. Um, and we found that it really kind of was. One of our main characters, his name was Blaze Becker. He's a youth hockey player. He's 12 years old now, but at 10, he had a growth plate, like a minor growth plate fracture in his right knee. So they put him in a wheelchair for six weeks um, at age 10. Well, our assignment was to work on programs that are help, helping uh, youth at risk. We were able to find uh, one here in Phoenix, and um, it was very inspirational. And I think you can find a way to help your own kids by just taking a look or watching, reading our stories.